Okay, so if twists and turns are your thing, then you really, truly need to check out the Netflix series Hit and Run. It starts out in Israel and ends up in New York, which is where our next guest comes into play as an NYPD detective who has seen it all. Hey, hey stay where you are. Don't run. <laughs> Don't ever make me run like that. Well, joining us now is actor, musician, a man of many talents, also known as my brother from another mother, Mr. Kevin Mambo! Uh, good day, all. Good day. Good oh, day. good day, my brother. How are you? I'm okay. I'm doing well. I'm good doing to well. see you. Good to see you. I've <laughs> always known you from afar, but it's great that we can, but it's a good thing it's via Zoom because I can't be trusted. I might, I don't know. I, might, I can't be trusted. Pickpockets, <laughs> all that stuff. But you might steal all the donuts. <laughs> yeah, everything. But let me tell you about this series, right? Mm. We had Kaylin Ohm, who plays Danny on the show before it premiered, so I never got a chance to see it. And now that yeah. I've actually, I'm like almost done with it. I'm just like, what? And <laughs> what is going on? It's a you lot. You know what's fantastic when people call you, know you, who, on one hand, tell you, I have been watching this long enough that I, even though I'm seeing your face on screen, I'm compelled enough by what's happening to have suspension of disbelief. And then the other phone call that you get towards the last two or three episodes are, I don't want this to end. So you know the formula or where we're going is kind of in the right pocket. Well, yeah, and you play Detective Newkirk, who I hope realizes it's not Ron's fault, because we see you chasing Ron. I blame everything on Segev because Ron <laughs> keeps warning him, and he's not listening. And when people right. watch, they're going to understand why Segev is the way he is acting the way he is. But talk to us about how this detective handles things, because he seems like pretty cool. He knows what he's doing and he's gonna get the bad guys and figure it out at it the It was end. a lot of fun to play this. A lot, of the, a lot of characters that I end up playing are often on stage, are often much larger in size, extroverted, even something like Fela, which was, you know, mm -hmm. 25 people on stage, full band. It has a different size in terms of scope to it. And uh, I, what I really love about Newkirk is that he doesn't pull any punches and he's really much Mo not much, most interested in getting to the truth and the heart of the matter. Right. Not interested in a lot of fluffy talk, not interested mm -hmm. in a lot of any other outside forces and really tries to stay down the barrel. And I found that um, viewers appreciated that point of view as they were trying to really figure out what's going on with Segev mm -hmm. and, and with Naomi and, and other characters in the show. He's kind of a, he's a bit of a buoy, an anchor to sort of figure out where are we, where are we going next? Okay, so I'm glad you mentioned Fela because some of your fans even go way back with you to Guiding Light, which you won two Emmys for. Uh, then there's Luke Cage, yeah. High Maintenance. And you also play the title characters you said in Fela, the musical Fela Anikulako Ransom Kuti, who you play, yes, who yeah. is like a, a god to most It was an amazing, amazing experience. At the time when they were starting the musical here, I had already started developing my own immersive show at in New York City, uptown uh -huh. on uh, 134 at the Shrine. And we, it just became a meeting of the minds. And so Sa and Gauja and I share, shared the title role. And we ended up going to Nigeria and performing at Eco Center for the family, spending time at the Shrine, spending time at Kalakuta Republic. Shayun and I are very good friends. Whenever Ooh. he's here with Egypt 80, I usually bring my saxophone and, and come and play with the band. So it was, um, it was a, uh, it was a life-changing ex experience and remains so. Well, because you know, I, I did meet uh, Sa Ngauja when he played yeah. Fela on Broadway because that was one of my first reporting gigs. And that's how I know him. That's why I was saying I haven't met you, but kind of, mm -hmm. sort of, indirectly, I know you because you, play, you played that role. And yeah. your talent is truly endless. I'm like, seriously, all these Africans doing big things, and I'm just here, like, running my mouth for no reason. You, I saw you play, you talk about playing um, sax, but you also play nah, 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 the strings too, because I saw I you play- I play strings, I got my piano right of here. Of course you do, <laughs> of course you do. Ask me what I play. <laughs> People's emotions. <laughs> no, I just play my, that's my instrument. I'm just, I'm just gonna be on the sidelines cheering for you because I saw you playing uh, Sweet Mother, I Know Go Forget uh, You. Eh. Um, but I remember that song growing up, the first thing we started, and it's the strings, yeah. and you just got it like on point. So 
Uh, let's just go down the list. Uh, you already said the piano. What else do you play? I play uh, tenor saxophone. I've been playing since I was 10. Competitive jazz. I've been playing guitar, self-taught since college. I've just bought a brand new bass. She and I are keeping each other great company. Uh, I'm using a lot of composition in, I'm, I am now part of a company called Greatest Stories Never Told. Mm. And we are telling stories um, in plays, immersive for children in schools about some of the heroes here in the States that they, or not necessarily here in the States, but worldwide that they would not hear of. Our first play was uh, about um, Carl Allen Cox, I'm always getting this wrong, mm -hmm. and James Herman Banning, who was the first African-American man to fly across the country in 1932 unassisted him and Cox oh, in wow. their own plane, which they put together by hand and were landing in places where they knew were they, they would be safe and maybe get some shelter and have people sign the wing of their plane, but give them a little money for gas, shelter, et cetera. And it became um, a national movement oh, tracked wow. through New Amsterdam and all the black newspapers. You know, the Lindberghs <laughs> had a lot of money and the ability to build a custom you know, flight plane. These guys were building planes from scrap and flying their way across. So it's a it's a it's a show for children that we bring to elementary schools that also wow. has science in it, which is uh, STEM, which also um, the children help us solve problems in terms of how do we get to gas, how do we get to the next place. So there's math problems, geometric problems, and these are heroes that they've never heard of. Our and next you're you're a hero to me, just so you know. I just want to clarify, you are a hero because of all the great things you do. I'm glad that I know you now because we know we're going to have so many great stories coming from you, many, so much great musicals coming from you, so much great music coming from you, and it's such a pleasure for me to meet you. I'll see you in Zimbabwe because we're going on a family trip, correct? You know we are, man. Then we end up in SA in the sunshine. All right, yes, we will. Everyone, please check out my brother from another mother on Hit and Run. It is now streaming on Netflix. Kevin, see you soon. See you soon. Please right. enjoy it, folks. Thank you for having me. All right. See you soon.